It's the sport that's transformed our urban landscape in the decade since parkour or free running first arrived in the UK. But now meet the class of 2017, all in their 60s, 70s and 80s, who are feeling the benefits as they overcome obstacles and explore their environments the parkour way through a series of games and physical challenges. Parkour has come such a long way, hasn't it, in the last decade since it was the domain of young males looking to do really dangerous things on tall buildings. So now it's for all, including George, who's 88 and uh, is enjoying swinging there. George, how was that? All right. I yeah, like the swinging. Yeah. <laughs> As you get older, I think you get lazy. I haven't been doing any for a year, so I've been getting very lazy. That I'm getting up, that I don't want to move. So well, has this given you a new year's of life then? Yes, it has again. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. <laughs> Earlier this year, parkour was officially recognised as a sport by the UK's various sports councils. And this opens up access to new funding for more classes like this in other cities. This is more than just a bit of fun. They're finding like that, and yeah. then switch like that. <laughs> but this is actually helping to prevent people from falling in later life. We found balance and strength in particular is what's been um, kind of improving the most in the body. And so we've had a lot of people say that they've, um, it's helped them to not kind of fall and to be less fearful of just going out and doing everyday today activity. Indeed, no one here said they'd fallen since they started this activity. I just feel kind of um, perky, which is all right. Yeah. <laughs> well done, well done. Yeah. Door, you know, you get the fall and then you have to go to the doctor and oh, thank you very much. <laughs> There are also classes to improve mental health. Parkour aims to improve the way we deal with problems and challenges that everyday life throws at us. Parkour is such an inclusive sport because there's no competitive behaviour and there's no entry level. So it really just makes it a playtime for anybody who wishes to learn. I think this is excellent, really. It yeah. takes people out of their comfort zone. That's where you learn things. <laughs> Well, this is a very friendly exercise, isn't it? <laughs> a final exercise was to pass each other along a very narrow wall, fall off here and would be in trouble. We'd come together, explored and got up close and personal with nature and our surroundings in a way we'd never thought possible before. This is a long way from that extreme image many of us have of parkour, but the sense of achievement was just the same.